Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Poetry in the PM with yours truly, Giacomo Gianotti. Same guy every day. It's still me. So, um, you guys are, are, you know, I didn't think about this when I started this, but you guys are giving me a reason to change my shirt every day because I would be embarrassed to do it in the same shirt every day. Um, it doesn't force me to shower because you can't smell how bad I smell, but I did change my shirt, so we'll start there. Um, yesterday was a really exciting day because we had uh, Liza de Oliveira on our show, a uh, good friend of mine, amazing actress. I hope you guys check her out and all her amazing work. Um, it was amazing to hear a poem in a different language. I think Portuguese is one of the most beautiful languages on the planet. And uh, I was so glad that we could kind of connect uh, Brazil and us uh, for that uh, day. And I hope to have many more guests who speak other languages so we can connect you guys with, uh, with our planet and all of the beautiful words uh, from their poetry community. So um, today I'm going to read another one um, by myself. But you guys are all with me, so I feel like I still have guests. Um, and uh, today's poem is a Oldie Buddy Goodie uh, by Robert Frost, and it's called The Road Not Taken. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere, ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. This is a very beautiful poem. Um, like all poems are about life. Um, this is obviously very specific. Robert Frost is, is talking about in, in life. Um, not just once, but oftentimes, um, in many times throughout our lives, uh, we have a fork in the road, a very clear path. You know, that might be, you know, whose parent you're going to stay with, that might be which college you go to, that might be, you know, you get two job offers, one's in one city, one's in another one, the decision to go traveling and explore after high school or to jump right into post-secondary education, relationships, friendships. There's all these, these um, forks in the road in our, in our lives. Um, and, uh, and we can never know where they lead. But Robert Frost, in this case, uh, took pride in saying that he took the one less traveled by he could see that there was one that had footsteps and that everybody looked nice and grassy and, and he could see that a lot of people had gone down that one, but that's not always reason to go down that road, that oftentimes it pays to be a leader and not a follower. And it oftentimes pays to make your own road sometimes, right? I think oftentimes we always see the forks in the roads as A and B and we don't often, often consider what would happen if I didn't do either of those things. What would happen if I did something else completely? You know, we're always uh, limited in our in our choices where we think we are, but oftentimes there's other things that we can do. And so, um, the the road less traveled by is often the one that that bears the most fruit. Um, certainly not right away, uh, but eventually. Um, certainly makes for a more interesting life, um, a more original poetic life for sure. So. Um, 
thank you for listening to the poem. It's definitely one of my favorites. And uh, I'm going to try and have a guest on tomorrow. I'm still working it out. But I hope to have a guest tomorrow. If not, we're definitely going to have one on Tuesday. And so I'm excited to have more guests. And um, apart from having guests who speak different languages, I also want to just have people, friends, uh, people that I know, and also just some of you um, on eventually as well to read some of your poems as well. So um, that would be great. So let me take some questions from you guys, as I always do at the very end. Let me know what you guys thought about the poem or any questions you have for me. Um, or if there's some poems that you'd like me to do, uh, I love hearing that. Can you bring someone from the show? Uh, I'm trying to. Uh, I am. Probably several, if I'm lucky. That is one of my favorite poems. Thank you for this. I look forward to it every day. Thank you. One of my favorites, too. Can you say, Oi Bia? I don't know what that means. Hopefully I didn't say something horrible. Hello to Luca. Say hi for me, please. Anne from Palmdale, California. Hello. Come to Chile. Can't right now. Hi from Hawaii. I was just in Hawaii this year. I love it. I got to go back to Hawaii. It's so beautiful. Irish poem. I'll try and get an Irish poem. Okay, that sounds good to me. Maybe I'll get Richard on from Gray's. He can read us an Irish poem. That would be cool. Brazil. Hello from Pennsylvania. Hey from Austria. Oh, you have my picture as your, your name. That's interesting. Um, from Portugal. Love you. Oh, amazing. So you probably understood yesterday's poem. Thank you. Can you speak Spanish? A little bit. Nothing crazy, but I can certainly get by. I know a lot of the names of food in Spanish, so I definitely won't go hungry. Michigan, I hope you guys are well. I know you guys are getting hit hard by the virus, so please stay safe, stay inside. Also, another uh, huge, huge shout-out, daily shout-out to, uh, to all of our healthcare workers. Thank you so much for being on the front lines. What you guys are doing every day to help us and keep us safe is amazing. I hope everyone is respecting the rules and staying inside so we don't have to do this for too much longer because the more people go outside, the more time we unfortunately have to stay inside because we need to beat this. Hi from Utah. Manda oi, Brazil. Ciao Giacomo da Bari. Oh, Bari, che bello la spiaggia. Hello from Brazil. You know some worlds. You know some worlds. I think you meant to say words in Portuguese. I don't. Ciao Bello from Dominican Republic. Hello, you guys are the best baseball players. Okay. Uh... Ciao da Ancona. Ancona. Wow. Amazing. Ancona is in Italy. For all of you who don't know. Bellos from Dominican Republic. Another. Read Pablo Neruda. Okay. I'm writing it down. Pablo Neruda. I will read him. Pablo Neruda. Okay. I'm writing it down. I think I already had him on my list. But I'll make him a priority now. Cushinha. <laughs> so good. Amazing. Mwah. Amazing. Cushinhas. I wish I had a whole box. Hello from Belgium. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Hope you stay safe too in Belgium. Also, if you know some other um, uh, celebrities, singers, actors, stuff like that, that you follow, that you have engagement with, and... Um, you know, they speak um, different languages and stuff, or you know that they're into poetry, tell them about my show and tell them to come on uh, my show as a guest. Um, again, if you are enjoying this every, every day, these poetry readings, um, please share this with your friends. Please tell them to follow me and share and tune in also so we can um, get more and more people involved with this. Um, thank you so much for listening, and I will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. for another episode of Poetry in the PM. Love you guys. Bye-bye.